I have heard from so many people over the years that they don't like watching the news because of all the violence and negative stories that get covered. And I want to say that we don't like showing our community hurting either, but violence, it keeps happening and we'd be remiss not to talk about it. So we are here to inform you, but we're also here to move the conversation forward because it really is incumbent upon all of us to make our communities a better place. And in North Sacramento, there were two separate incidences just this morning. Police shot a man and children saw a large police response while on their playground. And we are going to focus on the people that are working to make things better. But first, we got to tell you what actually happened. So Roxanne Elias is at the scene where police shot a man and Roxanne, Roxanne, what do we know about what unfolded this morning? Alex, there are still several police officers out here leading the investigation. They're asking neighbors for surveillance video or cell phone video that could have caught the incident that happened right up the road here at the inter intersection of El Camino and Cantalier Street. Now, this incident ended here after a car was reported stolen yesterday afternoon in Del Paso Heights. Sacramento police say an officer noticed the same vehicle parked on a curb, and as the officer made contact, there was a suspect in side of that vehicle. Sacramento police say the man was non-compliant and there was a struggle between the man and the officer. Police say a taser was used multiple times, but it was ineffective. The suspect was able to gain access to the driver's seat of that carjacked vehicle and attempted to flee the scene. When the suspect fled the scene, there was a collision involving one of our officers on foot. That officer sustained moderate injuries and was transported to the hospital. At the time of the crash, police say two officers discharged their weapons. Their suspect was then found at an area hospital with at least one gunshot wound. He has non life threatening injuries. Now we're just learning a few minutes ago that the officer has been released from the hospital. We're also learning that the suspect has been identified as a 32 year old man. He will be facing charges, but that all just depends on the investigation. Alex. All right, Roxanne, thank you so much.